Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro is coming up. I'm Mike Emery. And tonight, we get to see the top team in the league. Wonder what it's like to coach the best team. Well, why wouldn't you, Doc? You certainly want to be standing behind that bench, but there are some challenges because you know the opposition is going to bring their best. They know that we're playing really well. They don't want to get embarrassed. I think the challenge is, is to continue to get the focus from your team, play the way that you have, but understand is that you're going to have to bring your work boots here tonight to have any chance in winning this game. The Bears coaching staff has prepared them extremely well. Regardless of the situation, they never change. If they're up a goal, down a goal, they stay with their same game plan and adjust accordingly. That's why they're on top of the league standings. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. This man's the netminder of the evening. He is the type of goalie that sees the puck very well, hoping to see and stop most of the shots he sees tonight and land the W for the home team. This man's the goalkeeper tonight. The book on him is that he can be rattled with an early goal. Let's see how he does tonight for the visitors. And the game has started. What a wonderful matchup this one is. It goes back years. Oh, here's a chance now on the giveaway. And he lets it go. A shot. Oh, my. He's got a chance. Centering. Big save. This is a momentum building shift. Dishes it back. Holds at the point. Shoots. Dominance right now. Still no shot. Passed across point to point. That hit somebody. Skates in with it now. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. The goalie makes himself look big. Picks it up in his own end. Hanging on to it in their own end. Turned aside. And now it's directed to O'Brien. In the defensive zone, still on the move. Can he generate something? The puck taken hold up by O'Brien. Ranks one. Terrific glove save. The Penguins controlling play now in their own end. Hammers one. Piece of it. Rebound. Looks ahead to start something. Hershey's lugging it through the center ice area. Skate kick out of the scrum. Gets that pass behind the net. What a hit. It's been a pretty tame affair so far. Not much body contact between these two rivals. That big hit might be the first step in it. Down the many steps we go to the ice level. Here's Ray Ferraro. Ellis doesn't make many mistakes when he's in goal. Really a solid goaltender, not spectacular, but he gets the job done night after night. And that's very evident when you look at his win-loss record. Always appreciate hearing what's going on down there, Ray. Hershey's on the move in neutral ice. Pointed to O'Brien. Great chance, but he missed. The goalie can breathe a sigh of relief. The shooter's right in the middle of the ice, and he misses the net. Back in his defensive end to get it. Mashed in. The Penguins hopefully shifting from defense to offense in their own end. It's a three on two. How will they defend this? And a save there. On through the corner. Wonderful stop. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Rister deflected off the blocker. He gains the zone. Let's go, Rister. Gloved. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. Around the 20th minute of this period. Takes that pass from the other point man. You got his pad on that one. Trying to go to Mitchell. Wrist shot. Oh, stick save. Shooting save. And he'll hold on. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance.
First period has come to an end, and the goalies dominated this period of play. That's why the score you see has zeros. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring complete player listings for both teams. Player the Penguins are being held in this Warriors. game by their goaltender. It would be decisively against them without him. Here's an example of his work. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Nobody's been able to put the puck past the goaltenders, Doc, but I think one thing they need to improve on is getting more people to the front of the net. Make life a little bit more difficult for the goalies. The Bears in control of the puck through the neutral zone. Let's it fly! Picks it up in his own end. Slides it to the point to Bork. That one's flopped in. They'll try to dump and chase and go get it. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's on the move in their own end. He got his pad on it. Buck is picked up by Bork. Broke it right up. Perfect pass. And he sends it back into the opposite corner. Propelled to Clendenning. Takes it behind his own cage. Takes that pass at center ice. Perfect receipt of the pass. Score! Only one perfect goalie remains now. When you're an offensive player and you have that much time, you're allowed to take that big, heavy slap shot. Fortunately for the offensive team, they're rewarded with a big goal. Ellis can't catch this one. The shot's too hard, Eddie. Goes right past him. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's gotten a one-goal lead and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. The Bears win the draw. What's next? Possession gained by Brown. He's got that centering pass. And he freezes for the whistle. Just over six minutes have transpired here in the second. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. That shot hit a man. Well, he's not very effective now. He's banged up, but he's going to try and finish his shift anyway. Oh, and that's got oh, big sweeping save. He covers, and a faceoff will follow. Well, this shift had to seem like an extra minute for him. He was banged up earlier on it. Still gets out to block the shot. Hershey's prevailed on another faceoff. The Bears with possession in the defensive zone. And they've got a three on two here. A lightning light -like club save. Moves up the side with it now. Drill. Score! Go deep. From out top, the goaltender had no chance on that slap shot. Ellis can't handle that shot high to the stick side. You'd think he'd be able to get a blocker on it, but this beats him pretty good. The Penguins have now built a lead of two. Perhaps they can build on it even more before the end of the second period. Hershey's got it off the draw at center. By number 17, Hunter Pass. By number 20, Danny Sibrat. And the puck is scooped up by Brown. Good position in the slot. Shoot, got that in the trapper. Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. Shoot, score! And it's a one goal game. Ryan's decision was pretty easy. This low in the slot, just snap it off, and he did. Bobcock's presenting himself pretty largely here. However, there's still room for the puck to beat him. Hershey's gotten an important goal here. They call it the proximate goal. It gets you back to within one. And considering we're in the second period, that's a nice step. The Bears get it off the faceoff. Can he generate something from there? And another save there. Look at this chance! Score! And the game is even! The goal 
goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Bob pops in the butterfly trying to take away the percentages, but he doesn't cover the net. Hershey's got the game even up again. Still in the second period, lots of time. Can't wait to see what happens now. A good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Got a piece of that one. Hershey's in their own end, lugging it along. Took that pass right up the wing. A shot. Oh, what a stop. An unbelievable stop from a high scoring area. Puck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. Icing. There's not many saves easier than this for the goaltender. He gets his blocker on it. He's in good position, and he deflects this away. Let's check in at ice level with Ray. The Penguins are going to have to use 11 forwards for the rest of the night, and doubly bad for them. One of their top forwards will not return. Hershey's got another win. Heads on to the corner. The Penguins in their own end in possession as they travel. Loose puck regathered by Mitchell. Blocked away. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Oh, here's a Richter. Score! That's three in a row. get to this high scoring area a wrist shot is a great choice Bob comes down in his butterfly a little early that opens up the top of the net and he gets beaten cleanly Hershey's broken the tie late in the second period setting the stage for a wonderful conclusion to this and then a full third period ahead the Bears lug that along up the wing it's dumped in looks ahead to start something Passing one off now to Biggs. Out in front, club, And he'll cover. The Bears bench really got excited when they saw their goaltender make that amazing stop. Hershey's got a defensive zone win. The Bears carry through center. He's alone. Great save. 40 minutes have been played in this contest, and everyone gets a break, but just for a moment. Third period coming up. Looking for the latest news, scores, and statistics? Check out our team website for video highlights, player features, and great merchandise. Hershey's one goal lead came on store. this play. We want to show it to you one more time as we go to break. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? The Penguins are lucky to still be in this game, Doc. They've been outplayed by a large margin, especially in time of possession. One lucky bounce, and they're right back in it. Opening faceoff of the third period. The poke check worked. In the crease. Great save, point blank. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Rister off his club. The Penguins controlling play through the neutral zone. Fires. Moving it to Bork. Breakaway. Outstanding stop. Let's go, Rister. Magnificent save. And he clear. It's a three on two as they move in. Paddle to side. Hershey's in their own end and controlling play now. Snapping a pass to Bork. Oh, he shook right through, didn't he? Good move. Blocked. Passed one right between the circles. Chris shot. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Doesn't look like it's going to lead to much, but let's keep an eye on this pushing and shoving moving forward. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him.
They win it. Shooting. Got a piece of it. That one is pointed to him. Hit he got that one. That terrific save is going to give the bench a huge lift. Got to clear it. Fires. Kick save. Outstanding. Simmering pass. Go! A tremendous recovery. They've got life and time. When in doubt, go to the backhand. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered. But there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. The Penguins have fought back and tied this game here in the third period. Not a lot of time left. This will be thrilling. The Bears with a center ice face-off win. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. Lightning in that glove. Takes that pass. They score! What a quick answer to that one. We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting aid the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. Hershey's got another face-off win to O'Brien. O'Brien's last goal was truly tremendously tremendous. Oh, off the post! Fires, and a good job in the goal crease. What control. Skates out with it. Shoots. I'd be shocked if they don't score. Took that pass perfectly off the wing. Gives it away and gets it back. Hershey setting things up in their own end. Flings it. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. Well, the goal right there would have put this game away. Missed it wide. Gaining space, maybe time. Still no shot. Outstanding point blank save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Back in his defensive end to get it. The Bears with possession in the defensive zone. And drives on through center. Big chance here. Wonderful save off a wonderful shooter. A huge save at a huge time in this game. Last minute to go in the third. Long pass ahead, and he's got it on his stick. Acrobatic stop by Ellis. Hershey's in control of the puck in the defensive zone. Picks it up in his own end. And it is an icing. And back it comes, and check the clock, there's not much time. One of their best players, it doesn't matter how many chances that they've had against him, he's kept them in the lead because his play has been exceptional. They won that faceoff, can they clear it? Great job on a cut pass. Hershey's forced another turnover in this very close game. Lugged along the line, kicked away. The Penguins control the play at center. Gets that pass after he'd turned it over himself. Oh, great cut! Score! There's no doubt who'll win this game tonight after that empty netter. That's going to be too much for them to come back from. That empty netter will seal the deal. Neutralized face-off win. Wants to get something regenerated, but from his own end of the ice. Looking to camper. Hershey's got it and moving it through the neutral zone. Two on one. The game is over.
Wilkes-Barre Scranton's forced to take the defeat in this one, but the fans had to stay in their seats into the final minute. Extra attacker on the ice for the goaltender, Polt. I like the decision. Unfortunately, just came up a little bit short. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.